Hi everyone, just doing a uh, review of this uh, used V12 Ultimate that's coming. I've already given it a clean up um, and put a new tow guard on it. But the thing about the V12 is that interesting legacy profile. So it's that style that's um, similar to the Super Tusker and Bats of that era. So you've got a big mass in the middle and then um, weight taken out instead of using a duck bill, it's sort of a duck bill, but it's a flat duck bill where they've just taken the wood straight out and taken it straight out of the back down here. So this is very much something for uh, people who like traditional style bats. You can see there there's no concaving through the sweet spot, whereas that weight's taken out at the back. This doesn't have the original grip on. Um, I'm sort of loath to give it a weight or a pickup test because it's sort of balanced for the um, the, the uh, player who owns it who puts two grips on it. Uh, but suffice to say, I would say these bats would pick up their weight. Um, I don't think they would pick up any lighter than their weight without the two grips on. Um, so yeah, let's see what it pings like. This is a grade three, three star. So up here, there's still wood there, but I'd say that pin knot and maybe some more knocking is needed up here. But the middle, which is obviously where this bat has been used, mid-low, it pings quite well down in this area. So very good traditional bat. That's got the new uh, scuff that I've been using on it. Oh, and this is also the, um, this isn't a, uh, this is a grip I picked up the other day. This is one of the new uh, Grey Nichols grips. Can't remember what it's called. But it's basically a little bit like a ripple, but you've got the ripples heading in, and they're not as sharp, so it's actually quite a thick style grip, but um, doesn't have that sort of uh, abrasiveness of the ripples. So I hope he likes that that grip. Well, he'll have to because he's paying for it. Anyway. So that's just a little quick, not really a review, but um, just showing you the V12 Ultimate. I think these comes in higher grades. Uh, this particular one, I don't know where it's made to be honest. Um, Slassinger used to use Sondi and they have used um, Tim Keeley in the past. I suspect it probably is a Tim Keeley because of the way the shoulders are done here. So I wouldn't be too surprised if it's a Tim Keeley, just looking at the shoulders. But there you go. That is the V12 Ultimate. Thanks everyone. Oh, and by the way, I've just put in some new lighting to try and remove a lot of uh, shadow from on the device. So obviously it's creating a little bit more down here. Uh, let me know what you think. Oh, I'll probably have to add more lighting, I guess. Um, but yeah, I've moved things around and tried to make it a bit easier for doing reviews. Thanks everyone. Bye.